This is the episode number 4 of this latest bio tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to implement the hover system for our cards and also lay the foundation for our action-based architecture. Let's go! For the hover system, let's first create a new script in our systems folder. Call it card view hover system. To be able to access it from everywhere, we make it a singleton. Then we also create a reference to a card view. We will have a card view in the scene that is slightly larger and only has the purpose of being used as hover card view. We will also have the show method that enables the card view and sets it up. As well as the height method that disables the card view. That's actually it. I have tried many hover system approaches, but I like this the most. You will see how easy it is. But first, let's go back to Unity and create a game object under systems that will hold our hover system. We then also drag our card view prefab into the views section of our scene. We will modify it slightly so that it fits our needs for the hover system, but we do not apply those changes to the prefab. The changes should only be for this instance of the card view. We make it a bit larger and we set the sorting order to 99 so that it's always on top. We also disable the collider. We then drag it into the reference field in our card view hover system script. In our card view, we have to call those methods now. For this, we need two methods, the onMouseEnter and the onMouseExit method. In the onMouseEnter method, we first disable the wrapper so that the card view is not visible anymore. We then calculate the position for the hover card view and call the show method of the hover system. In the onExit method, we just call the height method of the hover system and enable the wrapper again. That's it. We can try it out in play mode now. When we hover over a card, the hover view is enabled and we can read all details. We have a really cool hand with nice card views now, but it's not really a game at the moment. We of course want to play our cards, perform effects and attack enemies. For all this, we will use my action reaction system. I have made a video about this system already. Before you can move on with the next episode of this tutorial, you have to implement the system from this video. You can see the link to the action system video now in the top right corner or in the video description. We will need the system exactly like in the video. After you have created the system, move on to the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.